Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Awakening. In the previous episode, we finally made our way out of the keep and into the city of Amaranthine, where we helped shut down a smuggling ring. Uh, and after this week's recording session, which I'll tell you about in a bit, I could really use some things going better in uh, this game. Or at least for these recordings, because uh, I'm recording this after XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. And I'm not going to say exactly what happens, but let's just say it doesn't go well. Blah. Oh well. don't think there's anything else for us to go after in here, so let's get out of here. We also... Ooh, lost and found. Knitted scarf, a gift. I'll take that. And a short bow. Not interested. Yes. Like I said, I'm not going to say what happens, but... Kind of left me feeling a bit bitter. Mostly at myself. Anyways, not much else. Let's see, what do we got? Main plot, Last of the Legion, Awakening, City of Amaranthine, Out of Control, Till Death Do Us Part, do, 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 all drinks at the inn, Bring on the Weak, Deal with the Thugs, Terrorizing People Outside the City Gates. Yeah, alright, may as well take care of the quest within here. Ooh, there's also the information broker we need to meet up with. At least I believe he's an information broker. The whole quiet and stoic thing must get you a lot of action, huh? I take it you're an admirer, Ogren. What? No! No, well, not unless... No! Good. Then I needn't worry about getting too drunk at camp. <laughs> okay, I like you, just not in that way. I do like the conversations between party members. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. The Dark Wolf, I presume? In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. And why would you want to help me? You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators, but to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. So you're doing this out of a sense of civic duty? Corrupt miserly nobles have beggared many a proud commoner. Some commoners turn to distasteful occupations just to survive. Is it not fitting that they would want to strike back in the only way they're able? Hmm. Then fifty sovereigns it is. It will be done. Give me some time. Fine with me. Let's see, world map. Here we are, the crown and the lion. That's gotta be the place. Don't remember, well, actually it might've been picked up from the Chanter's board. Oh, right. Ah, the innkeeper. He's gotta have hey, some information. Gang got their hands on some moonshine. You think they'll sell some to me? Hubert hates you. That's a no, then. Something I can do for you, friend. There's a Grey Warden named Kristoff come through here. And who are you supposed to be that's asking? I would be his commander. An elf? I... Yes, of course. Haven't seen that fellow Kristoff for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Hmm. Did you ever speak to Kristoff? Not much. He chatted up Sorsha a bit when she brought him his dinner. Maybe talk to her. I'd like to key to Kristoff's room. Of course. Here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head. Yeah, yeah. What's this? A note fragment? Uh, I've got a sword you gotta pick it up. From work in the field. There we are. Wanna see? Hmm. 
Hmm. Not seeing anything in here. Weird. It's bleeding and there's pus right. and everything. Where's no. Sasha? Probably upstairs. Ah, oh, there she is. Huh? Looking to wet your whistle, stranger. I understand you spoke to Kristoff. We chatted a bit. He was a friendly sort for a Grey Warden. Spent most of his nights here drinking. Wasn't ever loud or too forward. Haven't seen him for maybe a week now. Hmm. Did he ever talk about what he was doing? Said he was tracking some darkspawn. One particular group that's been raiding outside the city. He told me they were acting strange, those darkspawn. Acting obvious. Like they wanted to be caught or something. I expect he caught them. Probably why he hasn't been back, right? Hmm. Where did he go? Do you know? No. He took a lot of notes while he drank. Always writing things down. Maybe there's something in his room. Just how friendly were you two? We chatted. Like I said. He's married, as I recall. Thanks for the answers. My pleasure. Send him my best when you see him. Rise up and take back power. Right, Kristoff, what's in your room? A map of Ferelden. Map of the Arling shows several locations, each crossed out except for a place called the Black Marsh. Interesting. Kristoff's mementos. Probably need that later. Let's see a book. Kristoff's journal. If you in town have heard anything about Darkspawn stragglers, I doubted reports myself until a man told me he encountered Darkspawn in the Black Marsh. Although locals say the marsh is haunted, brave and desperate souls like this man still risk collecting peat. The man said their leader spoke, but all n all known Darkspawn cannot talk. Or, but all know Darkspawn cannot talk. More horrifying, he described a monster, a worm with legs. Surely he was mistaken but about it following the Darkspawn. I shall leave for the Black Marsh in the morning. From the Journal of Kristoff, Grey Warden. Huh. And here, a letter from Aurora. Some guys uh, picked up or examined. Dearest Kristoff, my sister and her babe are well. I shall leave Jader as soon as they're settled. Expect me at Vigil's Keep within the month. Ferelden is cold and wet, so make sure your socks are dry before you put them on. I know how it is with men. You can slay a thousand darkspawn, but when it comes to clean clothes and dry socks, you're hopeless. I can't wait to see you love Aurora. Ugh. Something tells me it's not gonna end well there. Alright, let's get out of here. Still yeah. other stuff to take care of in the city. Find the worried woman's husband. Oh, fragment of a note written by Alma's husband, apparently ripped up and discarded. He mentioned the catwalks high above the city. Okay. Uh, the stench of human depravity. Oh wait, that's just me. <laughs> catwalks high above the city. How would I even get to them? So that just leads to the world map. Abandoned warehouse. Eh, may as well take a look around. Not like it can do any harm, I just gotta figure out how to get there. And I may as well take care of the extortionists while I'm here. Walking around. Just gotta keep things highlighted so I can see what's happening. What's happening. Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. Templars, bloody everywhere, must stay sharp. Out of control? Hmm, hunt down the three apostates. Templars, bloody everywhere, must stay sharp. Alright, let's deal with them.
And down they go. Like so many before them. This striking from the front, the direct opposite of what I should be doing. There, still no match for me. I mean, I imagine there's probably going to be some enemy that eventually shows up that's going to be a problem for me. But till that happens, oh, Algren went down. Where did he run off to? Did he run off after the other group and get himself killed? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Is that all? The control? Yeah, that seems like it. Now, here's the question. Why is it not letting me talk to the muttering elf? Do I have to approach him from a certain manner? Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sure. Or can I just not do it? Keep normal. Yes, every... Must keep calm, keep normal. Yes, everything is fine. Mm hmm. Delilah? Is that really you? Nathaniel, I had feared the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from Father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him, without question. I... had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother, let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back, once all this is done. Meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said Father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. You don't believe her? I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? He saw an opportunity and went after it. And nearly destroyed us all in the process. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. Indeed. Okay, now as I was expecting to happen in the Merchant's Guild board. Uh, more stuff. Ancient silks. Nah. Wanting wood to locate ancient statues. Uh, honestly, I'm not really all that interested in these quests. As a matter of fact, many of them I don't really think have an effect on us. Let's see, Wanting wood. And as the botanist. From the living wood. So death to us part. Hmm. Stairs to the battlements. 
Okay. Well, I'm here. I may as well take care of the rest of these... Uh, at least this quest. Also, I should probably level up a bit more into cunning. Why not? Let's see. Feign death and all that useful. I guess combat stealth. Man, I never really realized just how quiet this game is when you're not in combat. Going. And nope, that just took us down. Eh, I'll look into this stuff later. I think where we want to go next is the Wending Wood. At least to look for Inez the Battlement. Or, and as the botanist. Yeah, mine's still stuck elsewhere. Ooh, wait. I should probably also get Nathaniel and Anders as well. Let's see. Feast of the Fallen. Sure, why not? Oh, wait, no. He's... He's going to be Ranger. He's not really going to be getting backstabs. Let's see. Ooh, wait. No, he needs Dexterity, not Cunning. That could be enough to get the next bit of skills, but so be it. Let's see, no. Coup de Gras? Yeah, why not? And Anders. <clears throat> Let's get your magic and willpower up. Let's see, Blizzard. No, not mainly because friendly fire. Let's go heroic aura. All right, Wending Woods. Yeah, Wending Woods. What's going on? No. Okay, now what? Trading troubles. You found a destroyed caravan. Bandits were looking, looting it. But it's unlikely they did this much damage the themselves. Anything, but I think this caravan was attacked. Yeah, don't say. Hmm. This caravan was smashed to bits. Simple bandits would not have done this much damage. Yeah, gotta agree, but we gotta get information out of them, so. <gasps> Takes care of them. A scroll. Orders to the militia. Greenfell militia. Kendall, the caravans can't get through the woods and the village is running low on supplies. It's that Dalish clan causing trouble again. I know it. I had my man speak to their keeper several months back, and she, I think it was a she, you can't tell with these elves. Wow. Said they'd leave from more remote parts. It looks as though they're back. Likely their stupid land ships blocking the roads. They're a stubborn race and more than a little dense. I must trouble you for a favor. Go to the Winding Wood and order them to leave Mayor Grisby. Uh, I doubt it was the Dalish. 
Trees have come to life. Okay. Well, follow the path of destruction. We'll find what we're looking for. Okay, then. So, definitely magic involved in this. I mean, no surprise there. Nah. Really not enough. Yeah, the problem with going with a mage is that their staves have elemental, and if the enemy's immune to them, they're kind of useless outside of their other spells. Oof. Oh well, no matter. More enemies over this way. So let's see what we're dealing with. More bandits, most likely. Yep. Yes. Not bad. <laughs> Damn it, Algren. Need someone a little tougher. Oh, time to play. Admittedly, I don't think I ever really used him in the main campaign. Oh, there he is. Let's see, I'll grab some of this. Now, where are these guys? Get over here. Alright, is that all of them? Should be, I'm not seeing any more arrows. Pointing towards enemies. Unless this is another situation. Like we had, I think. Don't look now. Ow. Beforehand. Let's see, this guy's already dead. Wait, where are you two going? Oh, there's some more enemies that should not have been within triggering radius, but whatever. Is that everything? No, of course not. Okay, at this point we're just looping back to where we were. Or where we had started, I should say. 
Don't know why it hasn't stopped with the combat music yet. Because it would be nice to, at the very least, have another body out here to take hits for me. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! Out of my way! I need to get out of here! What's wrong? Can I help? No! No one can help me! I just need to get out of here! What do you know about the caravan attacks? N nothing! We heard about the caravan attacks, but it wasn't us, I swear. We just thought there would be valuables left behind, but then... Make her help me. She's here. Gotta get away. Why are you here? What do you want? Do you work for the Shems? I'm investigating the attacks on the caravans. Then you do work for the merchants. Tell the human merchants to release my sister, and then tell them never to come back. Consider this a warning. Well... Seems we know what's going on there. Stop the caravan attacks. An angry elven woman in the Wandering Woods says human merchants captured her sister. It's clear she's responsible for the attacks on the caravan. Stop her before she kills again. Eh, not much of a choice in that regard. Let's do this. You know, Algren, it would be nice if you actually helped me out over here. <laughs> Missing stone? Hmm. Odd. Alright, nothing we can do but follow the trail. Ah, finding a charred Sylvain. I was hoping to hang back, but it seems my companions have other plans. Everyone? Good. Reldon's sword. Uh, there we go. Come from the sword driven deep into the ground of the campsite. Oh, right. Going. Looks as though it was planted here on purpose. Don't these Dalish elves travel in packs? What's with a tiny camp? And here, looks like there was a bit of a fight, but no bodies. Just all these weapons. Mm, something smells here, Commander. And it isn't me. Yeah. This is a pile of Feraldon weaponry that has been dumped in a corner of the camp. Something tells me somebody staged this to look like humans attacked the camp. Shallow graves. Huh. Small stone cairns mark these graves which appear to have been dug recently. Let's see some night. Elven prayer for the dead. Daughter Misu. Eh. I'll take it just because it's named. 
Yeah, something tells me somebody tried some scheme. Potentially the dark spawn. Potentially. To stage this up so that the elves would believe humans attacked them, and then would go after the human caravans. Most likely scenario. But, with that, we've come to an end for this episode of Dragon Age Origins Awakening. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.